I mean, all their albums <laughs> are enormously influential, but, but I think there's something about, if not in the sound, but the ethos of the record that you can hear in other artists, contemporary artists. I mean, you know, this is, this is definitely the case, isn't it, Georgie? Yeah, I mean, they've just influenced everybody. We were trying to kind of pinpoint certain people, and obviously you can pinpoint the, the bigger, you know, was it um, Sexy Sadie? There's definitely kind of a link, and maybe it's because it was 107 takes, but the kind of slacker rock influences coming in that then went on to influence Karma Police and Radiohead, and you can hear bits of uh, Revolution 9 and OK Computer and that kind of experimental thing. But they've they're just in so many different ways, whether it's the DIY approach to making records, whether it's just kind of being yourself and getting in a studio and mm. just figuring stuff out and having time to do that and the different identities coming through. Like Paul McCartney's, you could just sort of get a sense of his range, the fact that Obla Di Obla Da, Helter Skelter and Blackbird <laughs> yeah. are all on the Helter same Skelter. record. It's so high to say it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>